LFG uh, Season 1 Series 3 continuing here as tonight we've got ourselves uh, another interesting D1 matchup between the Tulane Green Wave and the Duke Blue Devils. I am the Cowboy Crab, your commentator for tonight. As we are just about to get set and ready here. Let's make sure the nope, text is not fixed. Fix it real quick. And there we go. Alright, so Duke versus Tulane. Interesting matchup here. So. So, here we go now. We are just about set and ready here. Here's kickoff. And there will be a touchback. Here for, I think this will be Duke. As long as they're going by colors. But what their actual team should be. As it looks like Duke is going to be starting on offense here. As we are just about, well, we got the play call extension as normal, so we'll be sitting here waiting for the game to officially start. I got switched teams. Interesting. Don't know how long until the game actually starts, so we'll get back to ball camp here. As predictions are just now up and live, we will begin here momentarily. Starting on offense here, and it looks like like um, Mustafa, Mustafa, I think it's Mustafa. Here on first down, now here for Duke drops back, rolls right side, he's in his own end zone to start the game here for the Blue Devils. Mustafa airs it out right side deep, and it will be caught. Touchdown, Duke. Benny, number 22, with a touchdown grab for the Blue Devils. So here we go now. Extra point attempt here for the Blue Devils. This kick is uh, pulled right and no good. So Tulane's offense going to be back on the field now. As we all remember from yesterday, it was Tulane and specifically Red Panda, especially at the start, who just absolutely lit up UFC on defense. The offense was just on another level for that game. We'll see what happens here for tonight now as Tulane coming in with momentum. Scotty, number 17, the quarterback, fires left side, incomplete. Might have been intended for Wanted, who was the closest receiver. Second 15 here for Tulane. Second 15 now, Scotty drops back. Scotty in the end zone gets his, he throws, potentially an interception, it will be intercepted! Draco with the interception, and the Blue Devils are going to get the ball back at midfield. First 15 now here for the Blue Devils. Quick pass comes off of, and it will be again a 12 off that one. And oh, is Zeus making his presence now in second and three now. 
Second and three now. Mustafa fires for the check down to supporter. Supporter dies to the first. He'll get 12. Go first and 15 now. Here for the Blue Devils. Mustafa drops back. Rolls right side now. And cut back towards the left. Still got pressure. Air to that right side. And it will be incomplete. Second 15 now here for Duke. Looks like they're going to do play it here. 6 nothing. Blue Devils lead. Quick pass here by Mustafa. They'll get 11. They'll bring up third and short here for the Blue Devils. We go third and four now. Mustafa rolls left side. Mustafa will run for the first, and he'll get eight. First and goal now here for Duke. First and goal now. Mustafa drops back. He's got pressure. Goes for the check down. Pass caught by supporter who will get four. Second and goal. It will be a quick pass. And it will be another touchdown for the Blue Devils. A screen. And number three, Exploiter. Or Koala. You're going to get the easy touchdown right there, and the Blue Devils lead 12 nothing here, and they're going to go for two. That's right. All right. Here we go. Here's the potentially a screen attempt, but nope, looks like they're going to have their offense shift now, and they're going to form a wall at, the, at Mustafa, and now they're going to break out. Mustafa, two-point attempt. He's got pressure. And this will be incomplete. Two-point conversion will fail. 12-0 Blue Devils. So it's blue versus green here tonight. So here we go. The return now here for Tulane. Their, off their last offensive drive in an interception. Op will get to about 30 maybe. And I think this will mark them. go first down now here for Tulane Scotty drops back pressure rolls left side Scotty airs it out deep this one will be incomplete second 15 here go second 15 now here Scotty drops back rolls left side Scotty he's got pressure oh looks like he's got somebody wide open middle Oh, side, oh, right side is burned deep. No defender, but he overthrew the pass. Yeah, uh, doesn't matter how wide the receiver is. When you overthrow passes, it does not help whatsoever. It's a good question. How did he over that? We go third and 15 now here. Scotty with pressure. He says he throws this one a little short, but it will be caught for the first down two lane. Gain of 30. First and 15 now here for Tulane at the 40. Scotty fires right side. This one incomplete. Second and 15 here. Scotty rolls left side. Scotty with pressure. Trying to find somebody. Goes for the check down. This pass will be caught by 11 who will get 7. Looks like we're getting a flag here on Tulane for tight end. So it'll be third down. Third and 13. This one will be caught in a gain of 17. First down, Tulane. First and 15 now. 
Some fired left corner, incomplete. Second down here for Tulane. And oh, this is going to be a sack here. Third and 26 now here for Tulane. And they're going to get a flag here. Looks like it's going to be a new play. Looks like they're gonna have they're gonna be changing some stuff up here. Alright, well, now that that's all fixed, second and fifteen now here for two lane. Scotty rolls left side, Scotty with pressure, lows left corner, incomplete too high. Third and fifteen now. Third down. Scotty with pressure. Almost gets hit. Goes for the check down. Incomplete. Fourth down. And the field goal unit's on the field here. Tulane probably going to get some points. Extra points has no power whatsoever. Well, a field goal attempt has no power. So, not even going to be close. Didn't even make it to the field. Didn't even make it to the end zone on that one. And, oh, Zeus again with his presence being known. Still need to make a shirt about that. So there you go, quick pass right there. And Mustafa will get seven, second and eight here. So far, neither team looking great, to say the least. And the team that beat USC is losing by 12 right now. Second and eight, this one deep left side, touchdown, Duke. Asher with the touchdown grab, and he'll hit the gritty on him. It is not looking good here for Tulane, who they're coming off a high victory after beating USC in an absolute barn burner yesterday. I don't know what happened here. It's like a whole other team. Field goal extra point attempt is good. 19 nothing here. So if I'm not mistaken, as of this current as of the current time, Zeus again making his presence known. USC holds the one seed. So I don't know. I couldn't tell you what happened here to Tulane. They beat the one seed yesterday, and now they're down 19 nothing to another lower lower seeded D1 team. First to 15 now here for Tulane. One thing I've noticed so far compared to yesterday's game is they're not going to Panda. So here you go, jump off off pass for five. It's not looking good here for Tulane. The defense isn't helping matters whatsoever, but the offense just can't get anything going. Even if the defense were playing lights out, it's not like the offense is being productive. And the first quarter here goes right, right side. Another interception. It's Koala. The one hit wonder of the Tulane Green Wave is what we might have to start calling them. Because this truly is, this truly was a one hit wonder team. You beat USC and now you fall apart. I know there's an NFL team like this. I just can't put my finger on who it is right off the top of my head. Where they like absolutely, where they put on a barn burner with one of the top five teams, and then just absolutely get smacked by a bottom, by a bottom feeder. Like I know there's a team that's done that, but I just can't think of who it is. Second and three here, dump off pass here to supporter, and supporter still going. He'll get inside of the 25. Yeah, Dallas, Dallas, that's who it is. Yeah, Dallas, you, yeah, uh, you put on some barn burners with some of the other top five teams, and then you get smoked. Oh, no, it's Minnesota. That's who it is. It's Minnesota. 
Like, they just, I don't know what, they, what it is. They play great one game, and then, like, they get slapped by Green Bay. Oh, wait, no, that was also Dallas. It's, it's either one of them, really. Third and 15, though, here for Duke. Also, Broncos country, plus run. Third and 15 here. Stop a fires pass. Caught it. First down here for Duke. Another redemption of Broncos country. That's right. First and goal here for Duke. This one going for the end zone. Incomplete. Remember, phase one starts at 28 points. Will he even reach 28 points? I couldn't tell you. And there's a screen right there. This one caught and he dives way too early. Third and goal here for Duke at the one. Could we see a quarterback run? We will. Never mind. Oh, come on. That was right at his chest. And, I mean, the SWAT is good, but now it's fourth and goal at the one. Interception is definitely what you would have wanted there. Fourth and goal. Stop a fire. It's end zone. Touchdown, Duke. And Koala with another touchdown grab. And it is 25-0 right now. And as the bot just promoted the, in the chat, Team Ocean, the Discord server, join it today. Here's the extra point attempt for the Blue Devils. It's good. 26 nothing. So it is... It's looking very bleak here for Tulane. Here's the touchback. 26 nothing. Scotty on first down here. Scotty. Back in his own end zone. Airs that right side to Panda. And Panda will get this one. It's a big first down and a gain of 44. Is this going to be like the Colts Vikings game? Don't tell me that's what we're going to see here. First and 15 here. Scotty fires end zone. Intercepted! Asher with the interception. Let me just check my math real quick. Let me see if that score is possible. As it looks like a ch someone in the chat is saying angle, but they're going to run a play before they can officially challenge. So it'll be a nine-yard gain. So they might, they might have to go back here. But they're also saying too late, and I kind of agree. They are they they went quick on purpose. They couldn't get the play clock off because they knew. This one aired out deep, incomplete. Okay, so I did do the math real quick. So if Duke scores and gets the extra point, it will be thirty-three to zero. We will reach the cursed number. This one aired out right side, and it will be caught! Touchdown, Duke! As soon as I mention it. But now they got to get the extra point, but what matters first is we get the blowout, blowout horn. It's We all know that it's it is 33-0. A safety gets us to phase two. But that was the blowout horn, ladies and gentlemen. So here's the kickoff attempt. Looks like we got no kick returner. Nah. So Panda is now going to have to quarterback here as Scotty has left the building. So Panda is going to have to step up here for Tulane. He'll get his. He throws one-on-one -on -one and caught. Gain of 66. Huge first down for Tulane. It is first and goal for Tulane. Big opportunity right here for Tulane. Goes for the end zone. Receiver going to cut and it will be incomplete. Luckily not intercepted. So Panda already making big impact here at the quarterback position. Second and goal. Panda for the end zone. Intercepted! And Asher getting another interception 
in the end zone again. And that is sad. First and 15 now here. Stafa. There's an out. This one will be caught by Celtic, who will get the first down again at 37. Somehow still say he stepped out, but he is very much in bounds. That's football fusion for you. It's kind of weird sometimes. This will be again 12. Here we go now. Second and three. Mustafa. Looks like he's got somebody wide in the end zone right side. We'll go for the check down. This one caught. Be a first down here for supporter and more gain of 21. Will we even make it to halftime? Because Tulane is getting their heads kicked in. First and goal, Mustafa. In the backfield, pressure. Fires and Evan Ingram syndrome strikes again. Of course, I'm talking about the New York Giants version of Evan Ingram. Because the Jacksonville Jaguar version shut me up real quick. And oh, intercepted by Tulane! It's Panda with the interception. He's not going to quit on this Tulane team. But now he's at the three and inside of his own end zone. Quick pass. Caught. Game of eight. Panda is truly trying here to maybe at least get points. Second and seven, Panda in the end zone, fires over the middle. Oh my God! What a grab! I don't know how he caught that. It's first and 15 now here for Tulane. This one aired out over the middle. This one is incomplete, barely. Second down here. Panda in the backfield. Panda. Airs it out. Right sideline. Caught by Lodgy. And Lodgy will get taken down here at the 30. Another redemption. Broncos country. Let's run. So Tulane going to at least try and put up points before halftime. Panda with pressure. Panda. Fires left side. Just going to miss it. Second routine here for Tulane. Panda drops back. Panda fires over the middle. Touchdown, Tulane! And Tulane will finally get points on the board. So now, the extra point attempt here. Point is good. Seven thirty-three here. Boom, just boom. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciate it. Here we go. Here's the kick, and it will be a touchback here for Duke. So the Blue Devils gonna have nineteen seconds left to go here. Staffa. In the backfield with pressure. Potentially final play of the half. Airs it out deep. And... Caught! Touchdown, Duke! Asher with a touchdown grab right there. I don't know how he caught it. And the extra point attempt will be... Wait, I think this is a one of the blood horn situation. So back to stage one, everybody. Welcome back. <laughs> Always with a blow horn. Never just one. <laughs> Remember that it's always. <laughs> Five seconds left here for Tulane. We'll see what they're able to do. And there we go. That's the blow horn. So, five seconds left here for Tulane. Will Panda be able to get the toss? First and 15, final play. Oh! Panda, come on! 
CYY with the safety. And by my own rules, let me check. Let me make sure my math is correct. By my own rules, ladies and gentlemen, it is phase two. It is clown vision. By my own rules, this is clown vision time. Oh, looks like the game's over. The safety at the end of the half ends the game. This is certainly clown vision type of moment if you ask me, folks. 35 point blowout. Tulane, after coming off a big victory against USC, gets it. Alright, I'm gonna say it quietly. Hopefully, I'm gonna have to say it if I say this. Uh, it was 42 to 7 to Duke and forfeit at halftime. So, folks, that's where we're gonna wrap it up here for you. Representing Team Ocean, I'm the Cowboy Crab, saying so long, everybody.